Hello, people of Earth and beyond. Today, on this very special day, we are going to be talking about nothing. Kidding. Um, so I went through all the other um, Claire abilities, clairvoyance, Claire cognizance, um, Claire audience. And now it's clairsentience that we're on. So clairsentience is basically the major ability of any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Energy workers. So people who can pull, absorb, um, or push out energy typically tends to be people who are more empathetic or very self-aware um, so they tend to know about this ability or sometimes they don't and they just end up giving their very important love um, away and you know they, they just start to feel really drained um, so yeah it's just a clear feeling um, and it's a little bit different than c clear cognizance um, I know in one of my other videos I kind of mucked it up a little by saying clear cognizance was kind of like clear feeling when it's really clear knowing. So it's like you have um, knowledge from, and it, it's it's completely true knowledge. You don't know where it bases from, where it comes from. You just know things. Of course, it's a different video. If you haven't seen it, of course, please um, click subscribe, watch. I do videos every. It seems like every Friday now. Um, but I'm trying to stick to the Thursday curve. I just um, I wasn't really able to do it this week because I ended up moving four states over. So here I am. Um, but yeah, back to the clear feeling ability. Um, you'll see it a lot with uh, Reiki people who practice Reiki. Um, you'll see it a lot with. people who heal light workers um that's that's a the biggest area in which that expertise lies like uh, clairaudience of course mediums clairvoyance seers uh, claircognizance more like detectives um so you know this ends up being more towards um um light workers um sometimes physical therapists um masseuses, you know, people who, who work a lot with their hands and and sometimes are very um, emotional. So that's the basis of, of clear feeling. Um, now, of course, some pitfalls to being this kind of clair, um, you're very susceptible to people who are energetic vampires. People will love to steal your energy because there's just an abundance of it um, uh, people who are reiki workers they they actually pull energy from the crown of their head through their body or generally out through their hands um and allow that allow that energy typically it's angelic to go through their hands and heal person at, at certain uh meridian lines or chakra points or you know and a lot of people have like um memories in their body so like if if you got into a car accident um and it messed your knee up that's a memory that's attached to your knee and so on and so forth and all of that business um so you know people with disability Sometimes they don't feel very special, but I guarantee you, you are. I mean, all of these abilities are valid in their own right without any other combination of any others. Um, I mean, there's so much you can do with, with just having this, this type of ability. I mean, so I'm, I'm personally, I'm clairaudient and um, clairsentient. That's the combination for me. Um, I think the perfect combo, and also the door, this combo would be like walking through the door to madness, um, is clairaudience and clairvoyance. And a lot of people, wow, that 
it's understatement. No, it's an overstatement. So less than 1% of people are actually schizophrenic. Um, and even less so actually have both of those abilities together. So, But if you're a spiritualist and you have the ability to turn off your abilities, um, which some people who are clairaudient and clairvoyant have, which I don't really know how to do that, but maybe something I'll reveal in one of my later videos. Um, but they just they just turn it off. If something's bothering them, something's talking to them, an entity, a demon, or or a spirit, a demon, which is a, another the old word for spirit uh, or entity. Um, and it's negative. They can bring their mind to a more positive place, or they can just switch off their gift, which is very interesting to me um there's the parapsych parapsychology foundation or association that can help people um develop these skills at least they they used to be around like when my when my mom was younger i guess i'm sure they're still around somewhere um, but not anywhere close near me in my state um but guidance and mentorship in these areas sometimes is very important for you to be able to manage your, your abilities. And like what I was saying earlier, um, yeah, I mean, just being clear out and clear sentient. I mean, like, like I was saying, sorry, <laughs> um, all of these abilities in their own right are definitely very valid. When I first realized that I could pull and push energy, I was about... 13 or 14 um it's just something that emotionally because i was self-aware or yeah emotionally self-aware um of what my body needed wanted and what was it what it was doing um it just i just became aware of the fact that i could do that and then i practiced with some of my friends pulling or pushing energy and we just started by like hovering our hand over or my hand would be over theirs and it would be way up here and I would push out energy to see if they could feel it and of course if they're sensitive enough which they were um, they could feel it as well um, and when I was emotionally bonded to somebody I could um, pull out certain emotions in people um, anger um, sadness happiness I could typically it tended to be anger people who were angry I would pull out uh, the anger but like, it was like a, I don't know I could just think with my intention and it would go into my hand or it would be like a scarf I could just wind it up and just pull it out um, so I think it's a pretty cool ability to have um, a lot of uh, seekers or people who seek greater knowledge of hidden wisdom or the occult tend to have this ability and it's 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 pretty great i mean some people do wrong with it they become um, emotional spiritual vampires um and that's just that's just good obviously joking <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, and they, they can use, uh, entities that they pray to or are, uh, affiliated with to grasp energy from people. They can use spirits to grab energy from people. They can do it themselves if nobody has uh, spiritual protection, uh, using candles or having, or asking your guardian angel to protect you, or if you have, um, a spiritual totem. Uh, to protect you now it's kind of hard to tell people who are empathetic to not be empathetic but when you're in these situations it becomes highly imperative to not put yourself in their shoes uh, because then you've you've bonded to them and they're just going to keep taking energy from you you know i mean there's certain mantras and stuff you can do for for protection there's a tantamount of spiritual protection you can definitely do it helps with all of this stuff but um today i'm taking myself out to the movie and out to eat i bought myself a couple of books because self-care is very important i mean trying to date in the quarantine is like trying to shoot trying to shoot at the moon with a rock 
It's like the rock lands where it lands. Most times it's just on the ground. And you're disappointed every time. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, not every time. But, um, <laughs> I gotta go catch this movie. I'm gonna be late. All right, you guys, peace, love. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel, please. I haven't been saying that, but yes, my outro. I'm trying to get into it. Like, subscribe. Uh, there will be videos every, I wanna say Thursday, but we'll say Thursday or Friday. Um, now I'm not working long hours, so I'm gonna say Thursday new videos every Thursday, um, and I hope everybody has a beautiful night. Stay positive. Ciao.